Hi dears, hope you are all doing very well. Our today's topic is representing numbers on abacus. You are very familiar with abacus. It is a counting frame used to do arithmetic operations. Here I don't have an abacus with me. That's why I am going to show this picture chart. First part, we are going to discuss how to write the numeral and number name on each abacus represent. Abacus has rods and beads on it. The first road represents the ones place, the next is tens place, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand and lakhs. And the number of beads on each road representing the number corresponding to its place. One's place occupied only one, tens place one, two, three, one, two, two occupied in hundreds place, one, two, three, four occupied in thousands place, beads in ten thousands place is two, beads in lakhs place is two. You listen, lakhs is here. Lakh is only in Indian numbering system. You know in Indian numbering system, the first period has three digits. One, two, three. We put a comma to separate it. The next period has two digits. One, two. The next has two digits. This is ones period. This is thousands period. This is lakhs period. Then it is very easy to write the number name. How many lakhs are here? 2 lakh. How many thousands? 24,231. I repeat the number name. 2 lakh 24,231. Similarly, we can write the numeral and number name represent this abacus also. Here the first road represent the ones place. Next is thousand, hundreds, ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand. Number of beats in first place, I mean ones place is two, one, two, three occupied in tens place, one in hundreds place, one, two, three, four, five occupied in thousands place, two in ten thousands place, 1, 2, 3 occupied in 100,000 place also. You will listen here 100,000 that is the place related to international numbering system. In international numbering system the first period has 3 digits and the next period has 3 digits. The first is 1's period and the next is 1000's period. Now it is very easy to write the number. How many thousands are here? 325,000. How many ones are here? 132. So I repeat the number name 325,132. You can see the numbers 341023. We have to represent this number on this abacus. At first you listen these commas. The first period, after three digits, there is one comma. The next two digits, there is one comma. It is very clear. It is ancient numeration system. So, at first we have to draw the abacus, then write the places according to ancient numbering system. You know the places of ancient numbering system. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, and next is lakh. Then the number on each place corresponds to the beads on each rod representing the places. So the first is one's place, the number is three. So one's place contains three beads. While drawing these beads, you should be very careful. The beads should be very close. Tens place, two. The number is 2, so the tens place contains 2 beads. Hundreds place the 0, so there is no need to draw the beads. Come to thousands place, how many thousands are here? Only 1000, so we have to draw 1 bead there. 10 thousands, how many, 10 thousands place, the number stands in 10 thousand, that is 4. So we have to draw 4 beads, 1, 2, 3, Four. Then lakhs place, the number representing the lakhs place that is 3, we have to draw 
थ्री बीट्स वन टू थ्री Similarly, we can represent number in international system on apparatus. Here you see, you can see one number that is international system. First, after first three digits, you can see one comma. So it is very clear this is one international numbering system, and you know what is this number two hundred forty two thousand one hundred three. How to represent this number on a bagus? At first, we have to write the place according to international numbering system. This is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. Listen, the next place is hundred thousand. And then numbering ones place corresponding to the beats in ones throat. So the number in ones place is three. We have to draw three beads. One, two, three. Tens place number is zero. So there is no bead in tens place. Hundreds place one. Thousands two. Ten thousand one, two, three, four, hundred thousand two. So this is the way to represent number on a bagus. I hope you have got an idea about how to represent numbers on a bagus. Thank you for watching.